Okay, my next problem here is talking about humans and blood types. It says in humans, having the Rh blood antigen is dominant over not having the antigen. It tells me that 84% of the pop population is Rh positive. Now, out of this 84%, I don't know what part of that is homozygous dominant versus heterozygous. So really, I can't start with this number. I need to think to myself, well, if 84% is showing the dominant trait, then what percentage is showing the recessive trait? Hopefully, you're coming up with a number of 16%. So 16% of the population is homozygous recessive. Homozygous recessive is represented by our Q-squared term. So Q-squared is going to equal 1.16. Okay, once again, 84% is showing the dominant trait, but I don't know if that's homozygous dominant or heterozygous. So I can't start by working with the number 84%. I need to think what percentage is showing the recessive trait, which is 16%. So Q squared, the portion of the population that's homozygous recessive, is 0.16. That's making Q 0.4. 0.4 times 0.4 is 0.16. And hopefully you're remembering that P plus Q equals 1. So if Q is 0.4, P must be 0.6. This means that 40% of my alleles are recessive, while 60% of my alleles are dominant in this scenario. I need to figure out what percentage of the population is homozygous dominant, homozygous recessive, and heterozygous. Okay. Remember homozygous dominant is represented by P squared. I know P is 0.6. So let's go ahead and continue. 0.6 squared is 0.36. So 36% of my population is homozygous dominant. Homozygous recessive, I already determined that 16% of the population is homozygous recessive. I worked that out because 84% showed the dominant trait, leaving 16% to show the recessive trait, and you have to be homozygous recessive to show the recessive trait. Now to solve for my last category, I can either think of these three categories need to add up to 1, p squared plus q squared plus 2pq add up to 1, so I can take 1 minus these two groups, or I can take 2 times P times Q and solve for my last category. So I think 6 times 4 is 24, so 0 0.6 times 0 0.4 is 0 0.24. Double that or multiply by 2, so I have my last category is 0.48. That means that 48% of the population is heterozygous. I can check my work because these three categories should add up to one. If my population is homozygous dominant, heterozygous, or heter homozygous recessive, or heterozygous, then these three categories need to add up to 100% of my population.